What's up guys, in today's video we are going to be upgrading the trunnions in our 6 liter rocker arms. The trunnions are half moon, um, they're known to fail with uh, high mileage and if you go aftermarket cam with a higher lift. And if they fail, they're going to put needle bearings throughout the entire engine. So what we're going to do today is upgrade them with a Michigan Motorsports um, 74300 kit. You get the trunnions, the bronze bushings, and then they're held in with a snap ring. So there's no needle bearings to fail. Um, and as you can see, they're oiled through these grooves in the actual trunnion itself. So how we will do that is we will just use our rocker arm, get it set in our arbor press. Arbor press is kind of optional. Um, I just know it helps me. Uh, you could probably get away with like a hammer if you wanted to, uh, I still have these from the last kit I did. I think the install kit's optional on this one. So we're gonna just use a, what size is this? A 13 millimeter socket, an arbor press. You don't need a whole lot of tools for this. I mean, arbor press is kind of specialty. Um, socket's not, either snap ring pliers. Super simple. I'll go in depth on how we're gonna do this and then we will uh, install the new bronze bushings and the trunnions. Um, five, three, six O's, four A's don't really matter. All the rocker arms face forward. Uh, I think some of the six, two, the edges are kind of angled in. Some of them are. So these are super simple. Don't matter where we put them back. We'll just, uh, start removing all our trunnions, which I'll do a few of the trunnions and then I'll do the rest off camera. So you don't have to sit through all that. And then I'll do a handful of these installing the bronze bushings. That way if you buy this kit, you know what to do. So let's get to it. Okay guys, to get the stock trunnion out, you're just gonna get your rocker arm, get your socket, kind of center your socket on there, center it on your press, so that way you're not pushing at an angle. And then you are just gonna use the arbor press to push out the trunnion, and then you get this we'll put it in our part washer but you can see all these little bearings that'll fail and go throughout the motor you don't want that especially if you're using an aftermarket cam that's higher lift it could fail and just send all these little needle bearings throughout your motor now going to the bronze bushing like so it's not something we have to worry about I mean, if they do fail, at least it's not sending hundreds of needle bearings throughout the entire motor. Uh, you can do this with a hammer and a socket most likely, but Arbor Press, I mean, Arbor Press at Harbor Freight is pretty cheap and if you do a bunch of these engines like I do, you're gonna save some money anyways, or save time, which is money. So I'm gonna finish up doing the rest of these. I've got, I don't know, nine, 10 more left. Uh, and I'll come back and we'll start installing the bronze bushings after I get these rocker arms cleaned up. Okay guys, now that we have the stock trunnions out of all the rocker arms, clean them up we are going to reinstall so i'll put my plate back on i will put a bronze bushing down press it into one side put a trunnion in that we have uh, i've already coated with oil you can either use assembly lube or just some 5w30 so i just kind of went down all the trunnions like that got them oiled up uh, then we will use the assembly washers and get it pressed in and then we will use the snap rings and i've just got a pair of icon snap ring pliers to put those on super simple so let me get the camera set up on the tripod and we will go from there okay guys so what i like to do is just get get it started by hand just kind of get it nice and centered and then we'll just press it in till the bottom's out then we will grab a trunnion which is oiled up 
grab another bronze bushing. Use one of our assembly washers on the bottom. And then we will make sure we get it centered. Press down till it stops. Put our other assembly washer on top. Finish pressing it in. So we have just enough sticking out both sides that we can now grab a snap ring. Get our snap ring, our snap ring pliers. We got one side done. Grab our second snap ring. Get it put on. That one, make sure, kind of, you can see this one actually spin 360. So it has a lot more movement than the stock rocker arms. I actually kept one just so I could show you that. So this still has the half moon in it. You can see that's all the movement it gets is right there. And these ones are able to articulate 365. Granted, never do that, but you will get more articulation for a higher lift cam. Super simple guys, it's a relatively cheap upgrade, 150 bucks. Ensures your motor is gonna live a lot longer, especially if you are got a higher lift cam and uh, you're keeping it up at high RPMs, it'll be a little happier just, happier just upgrading the valve train. I'll link everything down in the description. I'll link a couple different kits. Uh, they do make one that upgrades it to, basically it's a sealed, needle bearing with a snap ring so it keeps them in versus these trunnions are just a press fit from the factory and when they fail they fail so if you like the video guys like comment subscribe we'll catch you on the next one